Hello everyone, it is Donna Davis Bell from YouTube and today, yesterday we coffee dyed our papers. Today we're going to talk about and we're going to iron the papers. The question is, and it has been, um, it's been a controversial question, is do we need to iron our papers? Well, here's the thing. You can see on this paper, see how crinkly that is and wrinkled? And then if you iron it, it comes out smoother like this. Now, if you're going to run it through your printer, let's see here, let's find one that's crinkly on the edges here. See how crinkly that is on the edges there? Um, see that? That can jam up your printer, see that? How quick it is! That can cause it to jam up in your printer, and then you have a lot of problems. And you've got to go into, open your printer up, dig around in the air, and try to get it all out. And it can even damage your printer. So you do not have to if you're not printing on it. But I, you know, I I like to I like to iron my papers. They're smoother to work with. They have a different feel to them. Um, it just they're just nicer to work with so let's get started here here's one we're going to iron right now and i do not use the same iron on my clothing as i do on the copy dyed paper because you do not want your clothes you know you, nobody wants to walk around smelling like coffee so i have an old iron picked up from a thrift store um, and that's all you really need you do not need it on a large setting just a small setting, a low setting, and you do not want steam. And it gives your papers a totally different feel. It's easier to work with when you're um, gluing things to them. It just makes a big difference. To me, it makes a big difference. Now, some may... Um, there, some people may think differently, but that's just my opinion, is that it gives it a different feel, makes it easier to work with, easier to write on, um, and it only takes a few seconds. See, like right there and here, that could cause it to um, jam up in your computer. By ironing it, you get it all down flat and easier to work with, like I said, and only takes a couple of seconds. You need a low setting on your iron. This is an old iron. You can see here I have it set to kind of between A and B. Um, and it only takes like a couple of seconds to iron the paper. Um, we're doing several pages today, so um, yeah, so that's all there is to it. You just take it, place it down. I've got an old towel laid out on my counter, an old pillowcase on top of it. Didn't even pull out my ironing board. Um, and I just ironing away. And we're going to use these in our journal. Um, so hopefully you all have your kits printed out. Um, I chose one of G. Kerr's Kits. Um, I believe it is the French collection, shabby French collection I believe it is. Um, I'll list the link below where you can go over and get it and we are making a journal from start to finish including ephemera, sewing it in, the whole cover, whole nine yards. Um, let's see. So yeah going to be probably about two to three signatures long and for a signature you need 10 pages per signature um, so as you can see I mean we're, we're going right on along smoothing it out and it's going quickly oh that coffee smells good and like I said it only takes a couple of seconds to do each page so, and that's how it is. That's how it goes. It just goes right on along, and before you know it, you're all done. And then you have your nice papers to work with. 
um, if you're new to um, this video, um, to the, to this, um, and you weren't with us yesterday when we were copy dyeing the papers, there is a video on my YouTube channel, Donna Davis Bell. Um, I downloaded it last night, or uploaded it rather, and. You can go and watch it and see how we copy dyed the papers. Now I did go back on the some of these papers and do some stamping and um, went around the edges. Like here, I went around the edges with my, some pink staining. Um, but it's the same technique as we did with the coffee dyeing. I just took my paintbrush though and went around the edges. And like this one, I just did some stamping. Not much to it. I do recommend coffee dyeing your paper before printing anything out like if you're going to print out a kit and you want to print it out on copy dyed paper you want copy dyed paper is your thing i do recommend copy dyeing your paper first um, because some printers not all some printers depending on the kind that you have um, can cause your ink from where you printed to run so there you have it we're all done we've just ironed all of these papers and now they're ready to work with see the difference and they feel they have a totally different feel once you um have ironed them this is the one that we did yesterday with all the little rings um you know the jars and things and I, all i did is i took a stamp and went around and stamped the edges and took some more stamps and did here and there and um, went around it with my paintbrush and did the edges and here's the back side of that. Isn't that pretty? Okay, here's another one that we've ironed. It still has a little crinkle to it, but it's okay. Here's another one that I did. i um, just doing some stamping, playing after I got done. Um, and another one. And here's another one. All nice and ironed. Okay. And another one. That's okay because we can cover that up when we're embellishing. Okay. We still have some crink, you know, some wrinkleness to it, but the edges, the edges are all straight. And it has kind of brought out that coffee smell really nicely. I love this one. I love the way that it come out with all of the doilies. So that's all there is to it. It's very simple, easy to do. You just take your iron and iron your paper. It takes only a few seconds and then you're done and they're ready to use. So I hope you have I hope you have all enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up and let me know your opinion on whether we should iron or should not iron. Um, your pages. To me, it just makes it smoother. It's easier to sew it in because everything is, you know, flat. It just makes a, makes a difference to me um, and it makes a difference in my journals. I found the quality of my journals. So there you have it. Thank you. God bless and have a good day. Bye-bye.